Hi, it's Javi Rappaport here with Torah Wisdom to go live from Jerusalem. You wish Shalim. Let's take a look at this week's Torah portion, the Torah Wisdom to pass on and share with a friend. Bahalotcha, which talks about Aaron lighting the menorah, menorah, when you will raise up, not just light up the menorah, menorah, but lift up the light, which seems to tell us this week's Torah portion, we'll be talking about uplifting, positive, beautiful things. You know, how do you react when you're in a situation, you meet somebody who's behaving in a less than moral way? Do you just say, I'm out of here, I want nothing to do with this person? Or can you see some goodness? Can you see past that? Baha So it starts off with Hashem telling Aaron about kindling the menorah, making sure the flame is a flame, standing on its own, illuminating, ready to light another. Then it goes on to the inauguration of the Levim in preparation of their daily service. Another beautiful concept. And then, to the people who complain they are impure because of the death of a corpse and they cannot bring the Pesach sacrifice. And Hashem says, no worries. You didn't do it the first month, you can do it the second month. And from there, we see the way the Jewish people rest and travel, the instructions. When the, the cloud rested above the tent, the Jewish people stopped and stayed wherever they were. Sometimes it was even just overnight and the cloud lifted and they were ready to go forward again. All of this beauty, all of this positivity, holiness, it all fits in so beautifully. And Hashem discusses the clouds of glory that surrounded the Jewish people and, and traveled with, with them. Seven. One on each side, one on top, one on bottom, and one led the way to ease the path, to flatten the road to make the journey as comfortable as possible. And then, after all this, and the trumpets are discussed that were blown to gather the Jewish people when they needed to hear a message or to travel, then we read about the Jewish people plummeting into such a level, a low level, complaining, give us meat, we want meat. We want to go back to Egypt when we had fish for free, so to speak. And Hashem is very, very upset with the Jewish people. There's manna coming down from the sky every single day, sustaining the Jewish people. Why in this uplifting Baha'u'llah, Parsha, do we read about a decadent Jewish people? Can these two levels coexist? The lesson is so heartwarming. You know, within each of us, there always is that time of spring, of blossoming, and maybe that time of winter, when we feel desolate, when we're not in a place of growth, and maybe in a place of tremendous negativity, and we feel lost, forlorn, and far, and Hashem says, there are seven clouds surrounding the Jewish people, surrounding you, embracing you, holding you, carrying you, always. There is that flame within you that can never be extinguished. You are a flame. And you know what? You have enough to light another flame and to help another flame stand on its own. And when we meet a Jew, or a group of Jews who seem to be in a state of rebellion, derision even. You know what? Rebellion, a rebellious person, is usually somebody who's looking for meaning, searching for spirituality and connection. There is a flame there. 
And it's for us to notice the flame, to ignite the flame like Aaron with love and kindness and transform that rebellious nature into a fiery flame of passion, passion for the right thing. So here's going to be our takeaway. When confronted with a situation, a person, a group of people, yourself, and you find yourself or anybody else in a place of negativity, a place covered up with grime, it seems like a place of darkness, light your candle, light up somebody else's candle, find the flame, ignite the flame, and let it pass on and on and on.